About two weeks ago, I asked for your opinion on portafilters and filter baskets. Which types do you think should come with new machines? With most, you'll get a single and double spout with matching baskets. But would you prefer a bottomless and a triple basket instead of that single spout? Hey, espresso lovers, Mark here from Whole Latte Love. First off, wow, I asked for your opinions and the response was overwhelming. Thanks a whole lot for that. Better than 250 original comments on the video and well over a thousand and votes and a bunch more comments in the associated community poll. I sincerely appreciate your participation. So let's get to the results and some common uses for what some consider useless single spout portafilters. Along the way, I'll highlight a bunch of your comments, so if you left one, you might just see it here. On the community poll results, to the question, in addition to a double spout portafilter coming with a new espresso machine, would you prefer a single spout portafilter plus single shot filter basket or a bottomless portafilter plus triple shot filter basket? The clear winner with 92% of the vote was a bottomless portafilter and triple shot filter basket. A top comment from Ken Berry sums it up. Honest question, why does this single spout exist? The bottomless is easier to clean and maintain and gives more room to fit different size cups and or a scale below it. Double spout makes sense if you are in a higher volume environment and need the ability to serve two separate shots. What does the single spout offer? Hugo wrote, you can't even tamp evenly on a single shot basket. That dude added, very easily a naked plus triple. Mark Ogden wrote, great idea, doubles or triples are the thing here in New Zealand too. Daniel C commented, the first accessory I purchased for my espresso machine was a naked portafilter with triple shot basket. From Norway, Stig Antonsen says, I find single shot espresso more difficult to get right, so I've stopped making them. Two small margins for error, not worth the hassle. Looking at comments on the video, this from Joel Durbridge sums up the majority well. Doubles all day, every day in Australia. Would have loved a naked in the kit. Richard Jack seconds that from Sweden. Bottomless all day, every day, and he just wanted to let us know he's from Sweden in Europe. So how are single spouts being used? This viewer from Long Island, New York would have loved a bottomless and brings up a common use. I only use my single spout for the blind basket to back flush. Beyond using as a blind basket holder, a number of comments like this one from Todd T. The only thing that I like about a single spout is its ability to hit a demitasse cup cleanly without going over the edges. If you have those skinny cups, know that most single spouts can hold double shot filter baskets. Do you have a great idea for an espresso related poll? If so, leave it down in the comments and I'd be happy to share it with our community of about 200,000 espresso lovers. In the meantime, you can be sure I'll be sharing these results with major espresso machine manufacturers. In fact, we've already done some of that and they are very open to the idea of going bottomless instead of including that single spout. I'm Mark, as always, thanks for watching and special thanks again to those of you who participated by sharing your opinion and the details. If you haven't already, I invite you to subscribe and come back soon for more of the best on everything coffee brought to you by Whole Latte Love.